Så, nu är vi tillbaka på BI-konferensen och jag har haft Rafal här för några frågor. Eh, Rafal. Uh, BI and big data seems to be on everyone's lips right now. What do you think that is happening right now? I think the main reason is because it is becoming simpler and uh, people, users and organizations of all types at last have the ability to do the type of analytics that previously required you to be the size of um, uh, Microsoft, Google or Facebook. Um, the big data technologies that we were talking about at this conference, which is Microsoft HD Insight, uh, which is Microsoft's implementation of Apache Hadoop technology, are very inexpensive, easy to run, simple and they are very approachable. Um, looking at the people, because it becomes more accessible, I, th I think that there's some confusion, especially around, among uh, business decision makers, between what is the difference between BI and big data? Mm -hmm. Could you explain that for us? Sure. So those are separate technologies, but they work together. Business intelligence in general is a combination of uh, technologies for visualizing uh, information hiding in data. So traditional reports, key performance indicators, dashboards, pivot charts, uh, bubble charts with animations and so on. This is all part of business intelligence. Big data is specifically a somewhat nerdy technology used to extract meaning from very large data sets or from data sets which are uh, coming very fast from the sources such as uh, stock trading systems or very complex data sets um, in order to get answers to questions. However, typically we use both of the technologies together. So big data technology such as Hadoop is used to process the data, but then we use BI technologies such as, for example, a power view chart to visualize it. Finally, what, what would be your key message to a company uh, that's interested in big data and BI? Mm -hmm. uh, what would be their first step? Well, I would like to ask everybody to visit my website, of course, um, projectbotticelli.com, and we have videos, uh, both free and also available for a subscription, where we explain in detail how to get started. Uh, however, if anybody's thinking about it, the most important thing is to know what is your question. So define the reason why you want to approach these technologies. What's the business problem or what's the opportunity that you are trying to address? Once you know the question, choosing the right technology for it becomes easier. However, if you are simply researching and you want to try out in case you want to see whether you haven't missed something, um, I would suggest that starting as simple as possible uh, just with the Excel analytical technologies, for example, with Power Pivot would be a very good uh, place to begin. With that, I would like to thank you for taking the time to, to talk to us today. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you. Well, with that, I say thank you for us here today from the BI Conference.